I traveled a lot with cliché skateboards over the years. The best trips were the gypsy tours, for which the rules were easy. No set destination, no hotels, and only 10 euros a day for food. That room wasn't too bad, considering we had a rainy night. As always, I am snapping pictures whenever I can, because I'm here to shoot video. We start the day with a quick session, then we move on. The next one is rather boring to film. I quickly notice an outdoor staircase. The bird eye view proved to be interesting before. But it's one of these days when nothing works for the boys. I try to snap a few pictures, but nothing is very exciting. Andrew Brophy is not even skating here, so I ask him to come below the stairs. I like the way the building looks from up here. I have to be quick because I still need to film. I find this angle. I like the geometry created by the different textures. I think of a trick that Andrew can do with style and ask him to do it in a precise spot. Boom, 360 flip. Ruffy is known for jumping very high. That angle kills his ability, but the picture is not about that. We try again, many times. It's all about precision. One more, Andrew, please. Actually, three more, please. Okay, okay, last try, I promise. I reached the end of the roll, but I'm not convinced. So I load another one. No, no, no. No. Ooh, that was good. Wait, let's have a look at the very first one again. Yep, the first one was the one. Cheers, Brophy. This is with Cliché in Israel. The first time I ever go on a skate trip as the main photographer on my demand. We go skate an abandoned water park right by the Dead Sea, the lowest place on earth. This spot is great and ideal because after skating hard, the team can go relax in the water, which is 10 times as salty as the ocean. Its mud can supposedly be good for osteoarthritis. Sure enough, Javier Mendizaba starts a quick therapy and so I reach for my camera. I shoot a bunch of pictures. It's good looking, but it's too boring. We're not getting there yet. Let's start to mess around. That's interesting. The mud is as soft as marshmallow. That's pretty cool, but end of the roll. Let's get a new one. Are you ready, Javi? Three. Two, one, go! Ah, uh, too late, I missed it. Okay, one more time. Go! Oh yeah, I think that was good. Okay, Javi, do what you want. <sighs> Muchas gracias, amigo. This is in my hometown, right next to Lyon, the pool where I learned how to swim as a kid. When I saw that they were rebuilding the whole place, a memory from my swimming lessons around 1980 popped straight into my mind. The pool was not square and it had banks at the bottom. I need to bring skaters there. It's never hard to motivate guys when you have a new spot especially one that is not going to last very long. I went on a few different occasions. Sessions were good, but somewhat. I couldn't find ideas or angles that I knew would be strong. I tried many different things. I even used flashes, which I rarely do. I could never make it look special. I remember processing some roles and being very disappointed. We went one last time. It was better, but I still couldn't fully figure it out. The pool was defeating me 
again. So I went on experimenting with a technique I never use. Slow shutter speed and lighting up the background. I triggered many times and to my good surprise one picture worked very well. I like it because it's much different from my well-known style. This picture evokes important values of skateboarding. Skating with your friends, a place that is not made for skateboarding. The behind the scenes proved to be much more interesting than the action itself. Merci Steve, Julian and Jiju. This spot has been around for decades. I think it was first skated in the 1980s. My friend Jeff Raleigh skated it a few years ago and it looks so unreal. In 2014 I was supposed to go there with Thomas Campbell to shoot for his new 16mm skate film that is still in the works. I was super excited. Unfortunately, we couldn't go as we had to complete filming in another location. When I came to LA a year after to produce a series for Leica with the Element team, going there would be the cherry on the cake and it had to happen. It took some time to collect the necessary information to get to that place, which is lost in the middle of nowhere. I brought Ethan Loy and Brandon Westgate with me. This is an aqueduct, a bridge that carries water. It's not always dry and clean. We were fortunate. It's not easy at all to skate, mostly because of the steel beams on top of it, on which you can hit your head. But they are the ones creating those epic shadows. The bridge also moves and shakes a lot when you skate it a real earthquake simulator. Yet, all the ingredients were gathered that day to shoot a very strong picture. And so it was all about figuring out how to get to it, where to place the camera and the skateboarder, and what trick to do. Many little factors and details. So we tried and adjusted and tried again and again and again. I sensed we were getting there. Then finally, boom, here we are. Visual epicness that speaks for itself. Mr. Westgate, thank you.